Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions. Coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now, I want to talk about, uh, well, got the third video. I told you we talked about Logan Paul. Real quick, though, I just, I just, I just started something. I started something. So, because we got to explain the inconsistencies, guys. OJ Simpson, someone who we all know is a murderer, but got off in trials. It went to court. Everyone knew he did it, but somehow he got off because the glove don't fit. Baby. He's on Twitter right now with 889,000 followers. He's been on Twitter for years. A murderer. A danger. A, literally a danger. He killed his wife. Like, everyone knows this man killed his fucking wife. Why is he on Twitter? You know, I ain't gonna say the man's name. And the other one isn't. But not only that, that's Twitter. That's one. Maybe he didn't bother him like TMS. Now, here's the interesting thing. Oh boy is off of Instagram. He didn't say nothing crazy on Instagram. Instagram, their only saving grace, and I believe they did say this, was that, well, he violated our Dangerous Persons Act. Then how do you explain this? Michael Francis, Italian, who has in his bio, I'm a former MAID member of the Colombo Organized Crime Family. The man has talked. He, he's, he's gotten rich and, and, well, he's probably already been rich, but famous off of telling stories. And I don't know I just said this, but I want to say it again. He's been famous off of telling stories about organized crime he did in which we all know he murdered people. And I'm pretty sure he's talked about killing people or having to kill people. We know that he's done this. I don't care if it's organized. I don't care if they talk like this. Hey, yo, Tony, what the fuck is wrong? I don't care. Crime is crime. He's dangerous. Everyone knows it. And you banned him. Now, Andrew could very... I'm sorry, I can't say his name. Voldemort. He, it's kind of funny because he kind of do like Voldemort. He whose name shall not be spoken. Very interesting. Actually, I forgot the point I was about to make. <laughs> God damn it. I distracted myself. My fucking brain. But yeah, no. This this is this is this is clear, very very clear, very clear. Double standards. Now, oh yeah yeah no, he whose name should not be spoken had tried to play the race car a little bit in his last his last uh last message video, right? And he could easily play the race car with this one Instagram. You sure you want to go there? You sure you want to do that with Voldemort? Expendionis, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Limviosa, is that how it goes? Expectro Patronum. And what does that do? What does Expecto Patron? Does it, like, conjure up a bottle of Patron? Anyways, I'm sorry. Little rant at the beginning. We're going to talk about Logan Paul, though. So what they said about Logan, they said a lot about Logan. So we're going to be going through these real quick. So the first thing they say is that Prime is unhealthy. Well, that's not the first thing. That's one of the things they said. It's actually what I have at the top, though. Prime is unhealthy and that Logan is pushing this to people. Basically, this feeds more into the stuff that they're saying about Logan not really having any actual morals and he doesn't stand on anything. And actually, you could say it about KSI too, because they try to push that it has health benefits and all this and that, and it's healthy for you. But it's actually unhealthy, and there is some TikTok video on it. You guys can find it if you want to. Uh, but they're saying that, yeah, he doesn't really stand on anything, no morals. And to further cement that he has no morals, they talk about him not being loyal, and he dissed his brother. And not only that, he's teamed up and best buddies with KSI, the guy who's beefing with his brother Jake Paul. These are some good points, especially coming from someone like Andrew who, look, I mean, his brother, him and his brother are so close, they share the same bank account. So then he actually does, he starts it off by saying that uh, Logan is a coward and that he's a clown. He's only performative. He only says and does things that he thinks that he should do to appease people, which makes him a clown. You could also say that KSI is the same thing. He literally says, I, it's all entertainment. I'm an entertainer. So his words, not mine. He could probably say the same thing about that. And then he goes on to say that all Logan has is social media. And the reason why he's a clown and he doesn't actually stand on anything is because at the end of the day, he relies too much on social media and not being canceled by it. All his income comes from the reliance on social media, pretty much. So, of course, he's going to always take the side of big tech and these kind of corporations because he relies on them too much. While Andrew is someone who's independent of that, and he's already been a millionaire. And his money is not dependent on social media. 
Though I would say a lot of the money he probably makes now, like he's probably been coming across a lot more money now. Let's be real, it's just, just how it works. Just how the market works. He's been coming across a lot more money now that people have, um, you know, uh, more, more eyes were on him. That's just how it works. More eyes on you, more customers, more clients, more money. That's just how it works, man. You know, it only makes sense. Uh, but he's still not reliant on it, though. He still makes a bunch of money from other ventures. And he definitely took the money from what he's made online to reinvest it into stuff. That would only make sense. You know, to reinvest it in real life stuff so he doesn't, he has less dependence on social media anymore. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he says, Logan will say what he thinks he's supposed to say. So, I've actually already talked about that. And he actually doesn't have fans. So, he said, Logan doesn't have fans. He has viewers. His fans don't even agree with him. So, therefore, they're only viewers. These are people who watch him for entertainment. But the moment that he decides to go and talk about things like Andrew, you will see people all in his comments disagreeing with him on what he says and calling him out for his BS. And which I can say, I guess KSI actually has fans because they agree with him on Andrew. But, you know, good for him, I guess. Um, he says that if they take Logan away, that if they, so basically if he gets canceled like Andrew, people will just go to someone else, the next best guy. Logan's just the entertainer. And that actually is very true. I mean, my, my friend and I were talking about this. And we were saying how I believe it actually was KSI. So it kind of contradicts it. But there was a point in time where the Alex Wasabi thing, his fans turned on him completely. So when he wasn't that guy and he wasn't Mr. W, this, that, and the third, right? Everybody turned on him. The thing is, KSI, there's still people who watch KSI who have come to my videos, and if they come to my videos and I barely get any views, imagine how many people it actually is that still go, hey, I'm a KSI fan, but I don't agree with what, like, I, I agree with what you're saying. I'm on I'm on Tate's side. I think what he's doing is BS. I just think his his, his cult following is just so loyal. They're, they're, so, they're so massive, and they, they just, yeah. They'll drown out all the all the people who are anti, uh, anti what he's doing, right? I was saying how they instantly turned on him when Alex Wasabi canceled. They instantly turned on him when he showed swarms and everything. And he was like, yeah, that makes sense because they only look to him for entertainment. These aren't people who loyally like are following him who actually believe in him. These are people who just want to watch him because to, 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 to watch him. Basically, a viewer. Um, and he was he mentioned how Logan had said, look, I know this hurts Andrew because this hurt me. And then he goes, this was funny. He was like, Logan, it hurt you because you're a bitch. <laughs> oh, I like that. That part was pretty funny. It was, it was, no, no, that was pretty funny. And he says that he's a hypocrite for believing that he believes in a second chance. But Andrew doesn't. He then shows a clip of some TMZ reporter or something asking Logan if he thinks he deserves a second chance back when the forest stuff had happened. And... Logan's like, everyone deserves a second chance. And then he, he he skips to a clip of him saying, Andrew is beyond redemption, or Andrew doesn't deserve a platform. We don't we shouldn't platform Andrew. The, the platform is the second chance. So he go he's basically just showing his hypocrisy. And basically he's paid off to say everything. He doesn't believe in anything that he says. He's he he then shows clips of Logan contradicting himself. I can't remember what the exact clips was. I wish I would have wrote it down so I could remember. But he did show clips. You'd have to go to the, the emergency meeting and you have to wait through it. It's all within the first 20 to 30 minutes of the emergency meeting because that's all he talked about with Logan. He just talked about Logan. So you'll see it eventually. And that's more so towards the end of his Logan rant. So you could probably skip the 25, 30 minutes if I had to guess because this is at the bottom. So this means it's one of the last things he said. But yeah, no. Uh, I think a lot of this stuff is spot on. I, I don't know if I really disagree with any of this. In fact, I've said a lot of the things that he said already. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't I didn't say the thing about Prime. I didn't say the thing about dissing his brother. Apparently, you, you, there was a diss track on Jake Paul. And the, the funny thing, and it's, it's kind of birds of a feather flock together, because I mentioned the thing about KSI and the whole Sidemen Deji thing, and the fact that, he was not taking Deji's side. He was still making videos, living in the same house, being cool, laughing it up, <laughs> yucking it up with the sidemen while they were all dissing Deji. They were all talking shit about his brother. 
He was still, still living with them, sharing meals with them. You know what I mean? Being close as possible with these guys, not living with Deji. And they were making diss tracks on his brother. Logan Paul made a diss track on his brother, and now he's teamed up in Best Boys with the guy who's beefing with his brother. And he made a diss track on his brother. I mean, guys, this we have to take a step back. I know you see all the stuff you like about them, but I'm making a case for their character and their values or a lack thereof. That's what, and, and I don't like that. Logan Paul's an entertaining guy. I've seen videos and I've liked Logan. I've, I've watched KSI for a long time since, what, 2014, 2015, when I was like 15, 16, 17 years old. Like, I've watched KSI for a while. And I, that means I liked aspects of him. I, I, liked, I liked him for a while. And what I liked was certain attributes about his personality. And I thought he was funny. There are certain things I didn't like. And there, there, there have been stints where I didn't like certain things. But there are things I like about KSI. However, when it comes to the dude's value and his character, I don't think that that's there. And that's not, that's not some, someone that you should be looking up to. Because it's right there. You know, at least like, okay... People say Martin Luther King cheated on his wife, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Even though I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Nigga, you're Martin Luther King. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're Martin Luther King. But people say he cheated on his wife. And you shouldn't look up to him because of that. But it's like, at least with him, the beacon of what he represents was so powerful. What does Logan Paul represent? If not his character and his values. The thing is, Martin Luther King, what he represented in his character and his values, far surmounted cheating on your wife. And everyone will, well, not everyone, feminists won't say that. But feminist black women won't say that. But most people with common sense or most people, you know, with a brain will say, yeah, no, what he did far outweighed his character and his values and what he stood for outweighed that. What, what Logan Paul stands for does not outweigh whatever, like, that's just what he represents. It does not outweigh his cool, his nice, funny personality at all. And the thing is, Logan isn't really that funny. So it's like, he's just kind of like a cool Cali. I don't know. I think they're from Ohio. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude, I guess. But that doesn't outweigh his lack of character or values to me. So I'm going to say something about it. That's all. I'm going to say something about it. I'm going to call it out. But you guys disagree? You agree? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'm out. Peace.